Hohenzollern Bridge in the city of Cologne in Germany is a famous example for railway network bottlenecks. The bridge is a historic building with a more than 100 years long history and is often depicted on the cityscape of Cologne. As the bridge directly ends in the Cologne Central Train Station, it makes the Hohenzollern Bridge and Central Train Station one of the most important junctions of the European railway network. The Hohenzollern Bridge is the most used railway bridge in Germany, with on average more than 1200 train crossings per day. All those trains cross the bridge on only six tracks. The speed limit is 60 km per hour and the crossing takes around 4 minutes. Apparently, the Hohenzollern Bridge is a major bottleneck and probably impacting the stability of railway operations in larger areas of the European railway network. I think we all would agree that enhancing the bridge is a challenging task. The Hohenzollern Bridge is directly located in proximity of the Cologne Cathedral, one of the most visited landmarks, and the bridge has a history of more than 100 years. There is no easy solution or quick win to extend the capacity of the bottleneck as there are many limitations in the surrounding area. It clearly shows that constantly investing, extending and upgrading the railway infrastructure is a must to attain a high capacity and high performance. It took decades until the German state railway company recognized the fact in recent years. Due to operating their railway system close to capacity limits for many years, without extending and upgrading the railway network appropriately, the on-time performance of the company dropped to numbers around 60% of all trains, though the measurement is slack. Even cancelled trains are not counted into the statistics. At the same time, a huge success story of the German railway system is the Intercity Express, abbreviated as ICE, which is a high-speed rail system. ICE trains can drive up to 320 km per hour and provide a very high level of comfort. Since many years, ICE trains get constantly updated and renewed with latest innovations and with growing passenger numbers. Boarding and driving an ICE is a great experience, but it is not sufficient to just invest in more and in newer and faster trains. This example shows that the capacity of the infrastructure must grow similarly. Fortunately, in a business simulation game like OpenTDD, we can build our railway network from scratch with no need to consider limitations from a long history of the railway tracks surrounding infrastructure. In today's session, we will continue to grow our transport cooperation in the USA, Canada 4K scenario in the business simulation game OpenTDD. OpenTDD simulates a transport cooperation based on our real world. Starting your own transportation cooperation, you can build networks with trains, trucks, buses, airplanes and ships to transport freight and passengers between industries and towns on the map. In our session today, in part 2.0 of playing in the USA-Canada 4K scenario, we will try to apply the very efficient concept of main lines and side lines for a high performance of our railway system. The funding for our railway network comes from initial money making of parts 1 and 1.5. Main lines and side lines build a line hierarchy. Main lines are carrying most of the traffic and connect industries and cities with each other. They have a dense traffic and are crucial for a timely delivery of cargo. Main lines can have two to eight tracks, depending on the size of the game. Main lines have a high capacity and are very efficient. Trains should travel on the main line with full speed. Therefore, obstacles, slowdowns must be avoided and there are no train stations on a main line. In our session, we will build a simple main line with two tracks one left track, one right track. To reach a primary industry, we will build a sideline. A sideline connects one or multiple primary industries. It usually has lower traffic. On a sideline, trains will not travel a long time. They will take the shortest path over the sideline to the main line to travel to the destination quickly. The train stations on a sideline are called sideline stations. Sideline stations are loading stations for primary industries. They usually consist of only two to three platforms. Every cargo type has its 
own station, even if there are two primary industries in reach of the one station, or even if a primary industry provides two types of cargo like farms. Having one loading station per cargo type avoids inefficient loading rates, which might cause loss in production rates of the primary industry. Sidelines and sideline stations are connected to mainlines via sideline hubs. Sideline hubs have a layout that allows a seamless merger of incoming trains from the sideline with the mainline. Therefore, the mainline will have priority over the sideline. Please note, for today, we will not build a priority as we are just starting to build the network and will be focusing on the line hierarchy. Priorities will be added in a later session. Main station are those stations where cargo is unloaded. Main stations have a high capacity to allow a high density in incoming traffic without delays and long waiting times. Main stations are connected to a main station line. Main station lines are built similarly to main, main lines. Main station lines can have a dense traffic. To avoid delays and jams, there should be no obstacles or slowdowns again. Main station lines are connected to main lines via main station hubs. In huge networks, there will be more than one main line. Those main lines will be connected via backbone hubs. Backbone hubs are usually huge as all main line tracks must be connected to each other. For the reason of first getting to know this line hierarchy concept for today's session, we will reduce the complexity. We will build only one main line. Our main line consists of two tracks, one left track and one right track. Our network will focus on carrying coal from coal mines to one power plant. Priority for the main line will be added Later. The traffic will be light initially and we will focus on the line hierarchy in this session. I'm sure that many of you will find even more efficient ways of designing and operating the railways in OpenTDD. I always appreciate to receive your feedback in the chat and in the comments. Now let's start the game. We will load our session from last time, the USA Canada 4K scenario. We named the session 1.5. And what we see here on our screen is the initial money making network, which we built last time or even extended also last time. You see that uh, this is a very minimal network, which just connects some primary industries with secondary industries and even as this is located in the area of Edmonton and Calgary connects those systems to trans those cities to transport mail between the cities and as you see um, already traffic is quite dense in certain sections and segments and um, we expect some inefficiencies as all of the trains need always to pass through the train stations to get to their destination and sometimes there will be jams, delays and so on. But as this is our initial money making uh, network and just provides the funding for our better network, um, we allow this for now. We will just let this network do their work and go to a different location on the map to build our mainline sidelines and so on. So a good starting point of course is the overall map. And what you see here is Canada and US, of course, in this scenario. And we will switch off the city names for now. We will just show the power plants and the coal mines to have an oversight over where they are located on the map. And what you see here is in this, with this bubble, this is New York. And this is actually also in the Baltimore area here, where the first railway network of USA was was created and we will choose this location here south of Chicago. This is Chicago because here we find a power plant and we can easily through main lines going from here bottom right to the top left connect those coal mines to the main line and provide the coal to this power plant. Please note there's another good location to do this um, just further down here and there are several coal mines and one power plant. It's a very small area here which, with everything close by so probably this is something which can be used for initial money making even better and for today we will uh, build our main line here. Hi Rakenzi.
And then let's move to here and see now on our screen how we exactly build it. So this is the power plant we want to connect. We are funding cash of 1.4 million. So this should be sufficient for now to build the first main lines. And uh, you see here two um, coal plants already and another coal mine, coal mine here. And the tracks of the main line will just move through here um, over the rivers um, and uh, close to the power plant. The sidelines will be, of course, picking up here coal and uh, connecting to the main line with sideline hubs. And then later on from the main line, we will have a main station hub and main station line to the power plant. So let's first start with the main line. Um, as we have rivers here some as some kind of obstacles let's find a way how to cross them efficiently and use this as starting point for our main line i think this is um, a good location here as it is going passing by just passing by the city and um, there's some straight line here we will um, this time we will switch to the low speed rail which allows a maximum speed of 128 kilometers per hour so it's a little bit faster than for initial money making um, it's also more expensive but for now we can afford it and we will build the first bridge here we will build a main line which has two tiles between the left track and the right track so in abbreviation it is an l2r mainline of course usually you would do in like four tracks or eight tracks even but uh, as this is complex and building it needs a long time and even i have not done this before we will um, start with this simple setup And now we will just simply build the tracks like this. Go down here, go down here to the next river. And let's also see here for the river, how we can cross it. Let's do it simply now. We can correct it maybe later. Also here we need a bridge. And another bridge. And we will move on and get closer and closer to our power plant, which we're receiving the coal from the coal mines. We'll extend a little bit more like this and this. Yeah, this should be sufficient, maybe a bit more. Okay, this is our right track here. So we will already now um, put the signaling and uh, see an interesting effect. And um, for signaling, the signaling distance will be um, two. As with two, we have a very high capacity of the railway. So the segments are very small. This means a lot of trains can uh, move with close um, head distance. Like this from this end, and we will move to the. Uh, let's already continue a little bit here to see how it looks like. Okay, this we will take care of later. And in the other direction, of course. In this way, this is our main, main line of already. Um, as we see here and follow the segments and the distances between the um, signals, we see that there's a gap here with the bridges. Of course, you cannot build signals on bridges and this will cause inefficiencies on our main line. Um, trains, only one train can enter this segment and other trains following close to this train will need to stop. Yeah, and wait until the bridge is cleared. And therefore, um, it is suggested that on main lines, we always double bridges so that um, this will not have such a high impact. So this means building the same bridges again. This way. And this way. 
And now we need to properly connect everything together. We will clean up a little bit from what we've done before. And we need a little bit of terraforming to have some space. Okay, why did we do it in this special way? Because you will see this here, um, first terraforming, and then I will show why we do this. Because we need to make sure that our main line stays in sync. And each train traveling the main line, no matter if it takes this bridge or the other bridge, needs to take the same length. And if we would connect it in a different way um, with those diagonals, the lengths can be different from the train depending on the past to uh, which the train has taken. And this way, um, a train, no matter if it takes this bridge or the other bridge, will definitely have one diagonal pa part to go through. And now let's add the signals and then it's done already. Okay, this is wrong. Wrong direction, of course. Like this. And this one is also to be changed and finish. And the same we will do on the other side. This now it looks symmetrically somehow. Yeah, and the same on the other side. And this way, no matter which bridge is taken, it will choose, it will have the same distance to travel and everything will be kept in sync. So the plan. Like this. And the same, of course, applies to the other bridge here. So we also will repeat again. Like this, we remove part of our tracks we built already. We will need mm, to do some terraforming. Like this. and then connect back to have the original mainline layout. No, this was wrong. Like this on the other side, we will do the same. This is easier, there's no height difference. So straight forward. Like 
like this. Now everything's balanced. The trains will come from here. And also in the opposite direction. You need to always pay attention that we are building the signals in the right direction, otherwise trains will get lost. Yeah. Okay, so now we did this. Um, so bridges are doubled on main lines. So to compensate for the gap we have, um, the signal gap we have on the bridges. And now let's return back to our layout. So this is the power plant. We will connect to this later and we will first pick up cargo from here, from our whole mine. And we will now build um, a station you know, consisting of three platforms. Let's see if this works. Yeah, this works. And it looks like this. It will have trains will be coming in and traveling outgoing in this direction. It will have some acceleration tracks. And also we need some braking distance. That's why we also take into consideration tracks here in front of these platforms. And again, we have this layout which um, avoids that depending on the platforms chosen by the train, um, there's a different distance and everything gets out of sync. Whereas this on sidelines not so important because we don't have so much traffic. We have just those trains which are picking up the um, coal from the primary industry, but we still, we do this. And we will go back now to the main line and let's see where's a good point to connect. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we will again clear something we have built already. Maybe here. And we need a bridge because we need to connect in all directions. So we would not need it because we have just one power plant selected as destination. But um, to understand how it works, we will now connect in all directions. Maybe in a later stage of the game, we will also connect other industries and trains need to go in the other direction. So we will um, connect all tracks with all tracks from flight line and main line. And again, as we are here on the main line and there's a bridge, we need to double the bridge so that we are avoiding delays or jams due to the signal gap we have. Also taking care that um, trains take the same distance. Merging here, let's add signaling already to not forget it. This is wrong like this. Yeah, that's it. And now we build the tracks which will go here. In both directions to connect to the main line. Okay, and 
it's signaling, of course. Every other tile. And here we need a special layout now, because otherwise the sideline hub, hub will not work. Let's No, it's not working. One more. And again, we need a bridge. Now we are on the sideline and we have um, light traffic on the sideline. So therefore we will just take, take into consideration one bridge because it's enough. Yeah, we don't expect that there are jams here because there will not be so many trains coming into the sideline. And as this route here is the way of empty trains to the primary industries, even more, yeah, some delay would be not so critical for us. Whereas the other side is the one for the outgoing trains going to the primary industry. Yeah, let's try this. We have a long curve without slowdowns. Ah, this fits. Very good. And now we need to connect, of course, the outgoing trains into the right direction. We'll simply do it here. connect here. So this will exactly be the path of um, trains carrying the coal from the coal mine to the power plant will go this route. And on the other side, theoretically, currently there's no train coming from this direction, but to be prepared, we'll simply connect it here. And now let's ensure proper signaling. No, let's do this later. Okay, like this. And also here. Like this. Trains will be coming from here. Let's add signaling to the train station. Yes. And then here's a split okay this works and also here we have a merge Yeah, okay, now it should, everything should be fine and signaling should be everywhere in place and all tracks are connected to each other. Let's double check. Do not allow the trains get lost. Yeah, this works. So now we created a sideline hub, this one. It is connecting the sideline to this primary industry to put a train on track, of course, we need a depot as a starting point and also data for service and maintenance. And as we don't have a lot of space here before the bridge, we will just simply put it after the bridge. Mm. 
Let's put it here. This, and then again. Same way, so it looks nice. Now the deep pools will be here and here. So trains who need to go to a depot for service, they will already with some breaking space. No, I think they don't break, but no matter. Um, they have some um, space, yeah, apart from the main line. So there's not so much disturbance if trains go to maintenance. Of course, we need again signaling. We need to avoid that trains move in wrong directions and so on. Yeah, like this, the same here. One here, one here. Yeah, this works. So this is a good starting point. And now trains can start here or go into service. They can follow the main line, go down here to the sideline hub and to the sideline to our coal fire, you know, out coal mine. And now, of course, to the main line, the same main line, we also need to connect our power plant. And for our power plant, we need to find a very efficient design as we expect a little bit more traffic here. Yeah. All the trains coming from the primary industries, from the coal mines, they will go this main station line. And again, we will put in place this layout. So the reason why we have this layout again is no matter which platform is chosen by the train, it will have the same length of the track. So it helps us to keep trains in sync. Yeah, and there's no train taking longer for a specific platform and so on. Okay, like this. So let's see how we can connect here. You can already add signaling. Like this. Great. And now let's see how it works. Again, we need a bridge here. to allow that tracks reach all directions. And as we remember, I think this was wrong. So we remember that there's a signaling gap again on the main line. We need to let's make some space. We need to double the bridge. It will take some time now. This should be fine for now. Okay, and then we can, below the bridges, we can already lay the tracks to reach the other side and connect with it. Of course, again, not all connections will be used as um, let's make more space as we only have you coal mines from the other side from the other directions. 
connected to the main line, however, um, to see how it works and to maybe later extend it with other industries or with other coal-fired power plants in the other direction. We will do this now. So trains will be coming from here. As we are in a main station line now, and we expect a little bit more traffic, more dense traffic than on a sideline, we will also double a bridge here. Like this, trains will be coming from here, going here over the double bridge and then connecting here to go into the train station. And of course, also we will add the tracks to go back from when unloading everything in the power plant. Yeah, go back to the main line and return back to the coal mine. Now we need to establish proper signaling everywhere. So this will be some work now. Hopefully we don't forget something. This should work. Every other tile then goes to the station, comes out here, and yeah, something is missing. Almost forgot that. Of course, we need two more axes here, and we will do this. From here again. This is the way back to our first connected side line. Much back. Like this. Here's a split. That's signaling to the split. Yeah, and also theoretically a train could go in this direction. It will not happen for some time. And then we can complete signaling here in this direction. There's also one link missing. This one, also from this direction, for now we don't expect traffic, but we will complete it. So no matter what we want later to how to extend it, we are ready to do so. Okay, let's do 
so I need to fix this. Okay, now let's double check if we have everything. Yeah, looks complete. So let's now put our first train into service and see whether this works. So we'll buy a new vehicle. It will be now a train which can go at least 128 kilometers per hour. Power is not very high with 1,500 horsepower, so it will need some time to accelerate to the maximum speed, but um, it's cheaper than the others and has not so much running cost. So as for coal, um, time is not so time is not so critical. We will allow this. And this train, first of all, we need to refit to coal and then let's put it into service from picking up coal here to traveling to here. You we'll fully load and unload everything and go. So for now, maybe you have seen this. Um, in our last session, we scheduled optional maintenance stops. Now we are not doing this again. We let the train decide by itself to move to the closest depot whenever the end of the service interval has been reached. And um, by doing so, we don't have to take care as depots are, will be built along the main line. Um, there should be always an efficient and um, close depot, efficient way to be found by the train. So I am not expecting issues here. And what you might also have seen is that we don't put any mechanism to put priority on the main line to any sideline merging into the main line. Um, this we will do in the next session. Um, to buy, build this now does not make sense as we have only in the end of the session a few trains on the main line. So um, we don't expect a much, much delays. Yeah, we can add this later. So now the train is loading while this is loading. We can quickly extend also to this coal mine and put a second train into service. Let's do that. We will build the same layout, of course. Like this. Oh, this was wrong. <laughs> While the other train is loading, we quickly build this. We will connect here. And reconnect here. Can we reach? Yes, this works. Like this. Let's first put signaling. Trains will be coming from here. at the station like this and then create the junctions same here we will connect
here. Yeah, this should work. And now already built the second train, new vehicle. Also with a vehicle which will load the coal and at least goes 128 kilometers according to our railways. Refit to coal and first of all go to this station and then go to the power plant. No maintenance stop, it will manage it by itself. And that is, so for now, everything worked as expected. Let's see if later this also works for going to the power plant and offloading. While also now the second train is coming and moving on, um, we can probably have a look into this situation here and also connect this coal, coal fired power plant, coal uh, mine. Um, why is this coal mine interesting? Of course, yeah, payment income is determined by the payment rate for the cargo type and the traveling distance. And the traveling distance will increase with this mine. So we need to also create a sideline here, create a sideline hub and connect to the main line here. So it's always a good idea um, for the first train to go into new, following a new network, yeah, just worked out to monitor this a little bit and see whether it really finds its way as it should. So here we have the issue. No, it's not an issue. It's just working. Okay, we were lucky for now. We'll do some terraforming. I think this is not working. We need to deviate here a little bit. Like this, now it's working. Okay. Fine, main line continued. L to R, two tiles in between, one L left track, one right track. Now go a little bit more. Okay, like this. Now, first of all, we will again here build our tree platform. Sideline train station. While our trains still loading. Again, it will look like this. Let's see. I think there's another coal mine here. Yeah, very good. So we will connect this later. Okay, that's not working. We will 
create the sideline hub here, this position. Two bridges, please, like this and like this. You will connect like this and here like this to keep the lines in sync. Like this. No. There will be tracks going here. Okay, the first train is going fully loaded with coal now to the power plant. Let's let's see how it works. Here it goes. Let's also monitor the um, speed. Yeah, so it's still accelerating. Yeah, it does not have enough power on the engine that it can accelerate quickly onto the top speed of 128 kilometers per hour. However, um, it goes smoothly through all the junctions here. It's still accelerating. Now heading over the bridge. Losing a little bit of speed here in this combination of height difference and curve. Now it will go directly into service. This is not good, fully loaded. We will lose valuable time and uh, lose money. However, for coal, it's not so critical. And as the train was waiting long time to get fully loaded, we will probably accept this. Meanwhile, we will clone the train while it is just passing by this depot and send a second train to the same coal mine. Let's continue watching the journey. Also, the second train is coming, so we will do the same with this one. Why is it important that we always load coal from our primary industries? Because there's a probability that um, the production rate increases over time when um, there's always a train waiting in the train station to get loaded and we pick up as much as possible of the coal which is produced by the coal mine. So the train found its way to the power plant. Very good. Now it's braking and unloading. Great. Income a little bit more than 50k will be more in the future as this will go quicker, hopefully. And now it should find its way back to the associated sideline station, which is a coal mine. So trains will come from here. go here we need a bridge again we will not double the bridge as we are on a sideline the traffic will not be so long Let's now connect. This is the outgoing. This will be connected to here. Like this. And this is the incoming. And this will be connected like this. Let's start. No, links are missing here. Need to build a little bit over the trees here. To 
merge here and also we need to split here. Let's simply build it here. And merge into the sideline. Now let's start with signaling here. The trains will come from here. Stop here. Then return to the main line, merge here. Like this. So we see that there are two trains now waiting here, train 41, two trains waiting in the coal mine. So every time, all the time, a train should be there for this production rate we currently have, have in, in place. Which will hopefully increase over time. Uh, where is it stopping? A signaling stopping here. Yeah, like this. Let's continue to the signaling this direction. So incoming cranes will come this route. There's a merge here. Train comes from the other direction of the main stage, main line. Add signaling. I think we don't need this. like this also follow here let's check whether we are complete no there's a gap here no now this seems to work this works I think everything is connected and everything received the proper signaling. So now let's think of another depot. Yeah. To have one close by. Let's build them here. One goes here. Like this. No, yeah, no, it's correct. This one we put in this direction. So let's now build the depots here. This one will be here. Now add signaling. Again, we will for now leave out priorities. Of course, a train coming from Depot, we probably want to first let the main line clear and make space. Yeah, 
I think that's already working. Good, great. This means buy another new vehicle. We have chosen a cost efficient one. This. Refit to coal and put set orders. First pick up, fully load into the coal mine and then go to the power plant, fully load cargo, unload all and go. Let's see if it works. So those we can already remove. It seems to work. So let's see if this one works also. So we see how our network grows and there's a clear hierarchy between mainline and sidelines. What is our next step? Probably connect this coal mine, right? Let's first see how this, how this train reaches its destination. Let's stop here in the coal mine. going full speed also around the curves now entering the station braking coming to an halt and loading good then now let's also connect this coal mine to the sideline it's always good from time to time to check the map yeah, to plan for the sidelines and see what makes sense. So we are here on the North America, USA, Canada map, and we are only covering a very small portion of the map. We have initial money making here in Canada, Edmonton and Calgary, and here south of Chicago, we have um, our first main line with some sidelines and the power plane power plant with the main station and the main station line connected to the same main line. So actually, as it is pointing this direction, this main line could somehow be built. Yeah, it will take some time, but it could be built to cross the entire USA to reach the West Coast here and also go down here to the East Coast. And therefore, it would be a transnational line. Um, however, I think we don't have enough time for today. We'll just continue to expand a little bit on this um, network to see and learn more about it, how it works. I think there's a new coal mine. I saw someone on the map. Is this correct? Let's check again here. Here, this one. Yeah, there's a new coal mine just here, directly next to the main line. So this, of course, is very tempting now. We yeah, had to just put a train station somewhere here or a feeder line and then let mm. train stop. But of course, as we remember the main line, then it should be no slowdowns, no obstacles. We will keep it clean of any sidelines and let, let's think how we can connect this efficiently. We could build another sideline hub and sideline, but I'm a little bit afraid that this would I'm a little bit afraid that this would this there's not enough space and this would somehow cause delays and inefficiencies here in this area so I think we should do it differently and we should connect it to the sideline let's try this Let's see if this works. One, two, three.
Yeah, like this. Okay, there's here, it's an hate difference. Let's do some terraforming. Maybe avoid this at this point. This is where the train comes in. And this is where it goes out. And now don't connect to the main line, but go to the sideline. Yeah. So it will lose time because there will be some kind of duplication in its path. Yeah. And now it takes a long curve, I would say. Is loading going? It still takes some time. Let's try it this way. Maybe even extend a little bit to have space, enough space. And join here. Yeah, like this. We need to update signaling here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now how to get from there to here? Maybe build a bridge or we find something else. Yeah, we will probably have, so we will also connect this at a later stage. So we will probably have here a connection like this. So we could take it this way. Yeah, there's a lot of space on the on this map. One bridge, why one bridge? We will not double it because on sidelines we will allow We allow that, that there are delays somehow or some inefficiencies because there's not so much graphic here. So we need to split here. Okay, one train cannot pass, find a pass. Let's pause the game and check what is happening. And then later on continue. There's a traffic jam, I think, in our money making. Yeah, exactly. In our initial money making network. So here you see something really bad. Yeah, so everything is blocked somehow. Two trains are waiting here at a secondary industry. This is a food processing plant and they are probably waiting for food. Yeah, they are both waiting for food but no food arriving. Yeah, so to process food, wheat, livestock needs to be 
transported and unloaded and all of this probably in those livestock trains here vehicles yeah are just not arriving as all platforms are blocked yeah this is bad what to do now so what we can do now is release one train and then let the other trains go and pass by and this one this is this train is a little bit too long that it's blocking here the junctions otherwise this could have been solved but it's not working so an inefficiency clearly and let's simply say that it will skip and make way for the other trains it's leaving now and now the traffic jam can be resolved let's see if it really works so those livestock cranes are now offloading which in the on the other end fills this food this train full of food yeah and there's another of course now clearing this traffic jam there's another traffic jam now happening And it takes a while until it gets cleared. Yeah, you see how it how it went on to here. Yeah. This happens without sidelines and main lines. Yeah, it seems to work now. Still some trains get blocked, but as this layout is not too bad actually of this train station. Somehow is working, of course. Trains breaking down due to the traffic jam, service doubles are exceeding, and it takes time until it reaches the next depot. And still, there's a congestion. This is clearly a bottleneck here, but I think it will work now. Yeah, it seems like everything clears, clears up. There's another bottleneck in this initial money-making network. It's somewhere around here where a lot of trains are passing by and some are with secondary industries here, loading and unloading and a similar thing can happen there. Yeah, now it's working again. So let's return back to our mainline and sideline. So this train now is going to service and then continuing its journey to the power plant. As we have here now, cloned this train. We'll put a second train into service for this coal mine so that there's all the time a train picking up coal. Let's see the station rating here. Probably already increased. Very good. And here rating very good. So nice. So this did not increase so far. Okay, we were just finding a solution for this. Yeah, I think this is still not efficient. Connect this here. And then trains come in from here, go over the bridge, move into the station and then go out, come here and move on to the main line. Right. The signaling is in place, so we can simply complete it here. Like this, 
So here signaling is in place, so we can also complete it here. Okay, let's try it out. Let's put another strain into service. The train length in this session is four. So everything is dimension that we allow a train length of four. Refit to coal and then go to this new mine, pick up and deliver to the power plant. Unload all. Let's monitor if this works. So now we also need to connect here. We'll connect another coal mine. So a lot of coal mines here. This is a very good location for this concept we have here. And it seems like money making works fine. Yeah, this is quite some some way to take. Not the most efficient connection here. But still, we will allow this for now. Connect here. Signaling. Also here, of course, in the station. and then close the gap. Signal spacing two. Okay, there's an error here. There's a train with some um, negative result, probably due to the traffic jam yeah, and all the delays. So it caused losses on our train here. Hopefully it's the only one that is impacting. No, they are more impacted by this one. A lot of losses just due to the traffic jam. This, this shows how important it is that we build an efficient network and we avoid such traffic jams. Huge losses can appear. So this train already minus almost 19K due to a traffic jam. Unbelievable. All trains do losses.
Many trains have losses. See, just the messages coming in, never stopping. Oh. So now let's build another long sideline. So this we don't need anymore. This one we monitor if it reaches the power plant. And please remember that we need to clone. We have to clone as no train is waiting here, picking up the produced coal. Um, it needs to come here and pick up what is currently produced. So now we have here some an obstacle to take. A lot of space on this map, yeah, and not so much height difference. We will connect here. Move this. Yeah, like this, and this should also work. So signaling is in place here. No, no, no. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, this works. Always do the double check, otherwise trains get easily lost if there's an error or something not working. Okay, new train to be put into service. This is loading. Now our business is really growing. Okay, we have a lot of trains now. Maybe we can afford a stronger train, this one. Why not? Let's try this one. Let's try something new. Refit to coal, never forget that, otherwise it will wait forever. Go first to here, load, and then to our power plant. Gets more busy yet. And go. Let's see if it works. Okay. This one found the way to the power plant, at least. Now returning back. I think this design of the sideline is still fine, right? Important is that all train stations of the sideline are sideline stations, which provide loading of coal. Yeah, they are only connected to the sideline and not directly to the main line to keep the main line clear and clean of any delays, any slowdowns, and so on. Okay, this is empty. It's train number 47 still on the road. I think here we should clone this again.
because it seems the production is really high 50 96 tons of coal so we need more trains now here it is still working i think and here it's just starting okay this works let's see how it travels i think this one will go this route not sure yeah it's full speed taking all the turns very well good now we have another coal mine which is here somehow different difficult to reach so there are two options if you look onto the map which is a little bit more easy here to spot and plan how to connect we could either connect it to this sideline here but then there would be a long way yeah and it rather needs to go into this direction we can also connect it to this sideline that's also a long way but however i think this is a better option so again we have an Traffic jam, I think, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, same situation now. At this bottleneck, yeah, I, as I already expected it. Again, we have a bottleneck here. How to resolve it? We will simply, to avoid losses, order this train to continue its path. So to make way that other trains can go. Yeah, there's kind of a traffic jam impacting a lot. This is bad, right? Such jams are bad. It takes a long time until they are cleared, especially in such of a minimal, not so efficient network. And while trains are waiting in the traffic jam, the cargo will not be delivered. The payment rate is decreasing as there's a penalty for late delivery. And at the same time, the time the train being in service and the service interval end will come closer and trains will, will after clearing up the traffic jam breakdown more often. So it, it is um, definitely very important to avoid that. Yeah, we hear by the sound as all the trains break down. <laughs> okay, let's let's move back to where we, we are and this is better. So what we want to do is we would like to connect this coal mine to the sideline here. It's a long distance. I think again there's a traffic jam. No, not really. Let's see. No, I think everything is working again. No, it's fine for now. Let's continue building it. Let's ignore what is happening there. So after a while, when the um, main network, more efficient network is working fine and generating enough income, we could actually decommission the initial money making the initial money-making network as it is just causing issues and we need from time to time to attend to it. But we will think of this in another session. So we need to go here. We'll take a bridge, a long bridge. We are not doubling the bridge as we are not expecting a lot of traffic from this location continue 
like this all the way. I think it can. Should join here. So let's first remove the signal. This is in the way. And merge with the. Other part. Trains are coming from here. They will stop here. Does it work? Yes, it works. And the other direction will split here. Continue to build here our infrastructure. We again need a bridge to go over this big river. Be aware when you choose the bridge that there are different speed limits on such bridges. Remember, remember the Hohenzollern Bridge from Cologne? It has a speed limit of only 60. Even when trains approach the central train station, which is directly connected to the bridge, it um, they will further decrease their speed to 20 to 30 kilometers per hour. So really going slow. And this is why it takes four minutes for trains to cross a bridge. Four minutes. This is valuable time. If you want to bring 1000 trains more than 1,000 trains per day over the bridge. This gets complicated. And let's see. it's easy to understand that, okay, a lot of vehicles are now in negative figures, but we don't care. Too easy to understand how this can disrupt the operations very quickly. Yeah, this works. Let's now put the train in. And if there's a traffic jam also around Cologne, yeah, it will impact um, a larger area of the network, as we have seen this in our small minimal network already, that this can call a jam is not easy to clear. Yeah, it takes a long time. And therefore, there will be huge delays like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or even longer just because there's a bottleneck and something happened on a bridge. I think this one we took. Let's take a different one again. Let's take this one this time. Refit, don't forget, otherwise it will wait forever. So we need to go to this one first, load, and then go to so everything works so far. This is fine. There's a train loading, here's a train, two trains loading even. Oh, no train loading. That one should be here, 49. Let's clone 49. I think it's a long way, so we can clone it even twice. Let's see if this is efficient. Also this train, we have money now, yeah? We have more than 7 million, reaching the 8 million soon. 
can also clone already twice. Take time until they reach the coal mine and meanwhile the time can be used for loading the first train which will arrive there now. Let's check the ratings, very good. Okay, great. Let's have a look at the, on the map what we accomplished so far. We accomplished to connect six coal mines to the main line, which is also connected to a main station with the power plant. What would be next opportunities? Next opportunities to, would be to connect this mine or this mine yeah. here, this way, by another sideline close to a mine close to Chicago here, I think, or extend the main line into this area. Now going to the East Coast and then connect with one sideline for coal mines. I think this would be this would be probably making more sense. 